Hello and welcome to this edition of my Evotion Rhapsody video series. My name is Frank, I'm a passionate Rhapsody user, trainer and consultant for over 20 years and love to share knowledge to help you to become more effective. In this video I will talk about the different Rhapsody edition. This video is directed to all those Rhapsody users who ask themselves the following question. What are all these Rhapsody editions? How do these compare? Why do I have them? The good news up front, you don't have different Rhapsody installations. There's only one Rhapsody.exe on your hard disk. So you don't have to worry about wasting your disk space. All the things that you see are simple shortcuts or launch options with which you can start the corresponding Rhapsody edition. And each launched edition will expose more or less functionality and features to you. We will see that in a minute. First question, why do I have all this? Answer, all these shortcuts are created during the Rhapsody installation when Rhapsody developer is selected. Here an overview of all the start options that you get after the installation. Now to the second and more interesting question. What is the difference between all these editions? That's a longer answer. Rhapsody usage is divided into two disciplines, system engineers on the left and software engineers on the right. For both disciplines, there is a low-end, low-budget and a high-end edition. The low-budget versions are called Architect. The high-end versions are called Rhapsody Designer for System Engineers and Rhapsody Developer for Software Developers. Let us start with the Architect for System Engineers. Main focus is the modeling with SysML and UML in the System Engineering domain. So if you want to analyze, trace and elaborate requirements, create a system specification or an interface design document. If you want to make architecture trade-offs, maybe with parametric evaluations, all this can be achieved with the architect for system engineers. On the same level, but for software developers, we have the architect for software engineers. It comprises the same functions as the architect for system, but has some more features which are interesting when you develop software. So in addition, the architect for software allows you to generate architecture code frames for static elements like classes and objects. It synchronizes model and code, so you can work either in the code or in the model, or it allows you to reverse engineer existing code into a UML model. If you want to compile your code, you need an additional IDE, but integrations for Visual Studio and Eclipse are provided. The high-end version for the system engineers is the designer. It provides the ability to prototype, simulate and execute design for early validations of requirements, architecture and behavior. You can thus benefit from model-driven testing, automatically test your system design against system specification. Furthermore, it provides various integration with third-party tools such as the MathWorks Simulink integration for co-simulation with Simulink. The high-end version for software developers is called the developer. It comprises all the features of the other editions, but in addition allows you to generate and compile full behavioral code, production code for various embedded real-time systems like VxWorks, Integrity, Linux and so forth. And all this inside Rhapsody. And you can even run model-driven testing on a real target. If your focus is on the development of software for small microcontrollers with or without operating system, then there is another Rhapsody version available that I would like to mention in this context. It's a special Rhapsody edition provided by Villard Software Tools called Villard Embedded UML Studio. This version is based on the low budget Rhapsody software architect, but with extended functionality to generate full behavioral code, production code for small real time targets. So when you build embedded applications on small microcontrollers, which are limited in resources, this version might be the best fit for you. The cool thing with all these additions, even the low budget ones, they can be connected to Rhapsody Model Manager, a design management server that is part of the IBM Engineering Lifecycle platform. The Engineering Lifecycle platform is a complete collaborative suite for system engineering to work in teams, whether they are distributed or local, when change and configuration management is required, and to simplify compliance with standards like ASPICE and ISO 26262. To summarize all this, I put together a comparison matrix for you, 
which compares the functionality of the different editions. It's a reduced representation. For more detailed information, I refer to the IBM or Willard Rhapsody product information. Some final facts. You need a valid license to launch any of these editions. So because you're able to launch the developer edition with a shortcut, doesn't mean that you can run it. You can open and edit your model with any of these editions. So maybe you start at the beginning with the architect, later on you can continue with the designer or developer or vice versa. This is possible. Often I see companies using in principle the architect version to perform the basic stuff and then use the developer to perform the higher sophisticated stuff. And last but not least, the integration into the IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management with RMM. So Rhapsody Model Manager RMM is not another Rhapsody edition, it's the Rhapsody server part of the IBM System Engineering platform. I hope this information was helpful for you to gain more clarity in the Rhapsody editions. If you want to receive your personal demo on any of these editions, simply send an email to rhapsody at evotion.com. We will gladly schedule a meeting with you. If you want to receive our newsletter, send an email to subscribe a newsletter to info at evotion.com. That's it. Hope to see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.